I did stand-up comedy for 20 years, just standing in front of people like this, and I never got famous. So now when I come here to relax, I look around and think, do I just die anonymous like these people? That can't be right. All things I could have done within 20 years. Well, like for instance, some nights I go to the bowling alley for a few drinks, and then I walk through where the pinballs are, and I saw it. The Ghostbusters. Oh. That's what I should have been. Wanted rich and famous with them. These people, you know, doing movies with the slime. But next day, doing The Hangover, I started wondering, why has there never been a real Ghostbuster? Okay, if I were the real one, first one. Because doing stand-up comedy for 20 years, I know how to deal with jerks. And maybe ghosts turn into jerks when they die, because they Think it's funny scaring us? I don't know, but if I were the first one to get a ghost on camera, I'd be so famous. So hey fun boy down in a box, wakey wakey, anyone home? Not be rude, but there is a new Ghostbuster in town. Maybe the first one true ever there ever was in all the whole world maybe it's me you never know until you try so getting a camera that was easy learning to cut video no problem but where do you start to then find a ghost i tried holding still like really paying attention and then i just looked up uh people who do it for you and i found someone who was not expensive in same city as me so if you look over here at the side of the barn it's clear that there's some sort of a metaphysical energy um, kind of trapped within this section, this more dilapidated uh -huh. section of the barn here. So, did they did they get smushed right there? Uh, no, no, I, I don't think it got smushed, and that's partly because since it is a spiritual being, uh, something falling like this wouldn't actually affect it. No, I mean when they they got killed. Did they? No, I kick? don't. I um, I don't think that's what happened. That could have done it, though. I mean, this falling apart probably could have killed somebody. Uh huh. But I don't think that this being was killed that way. Um, if you die, if, sensing... if you die like that, do you get stuck on the day? Uh, no, it's more. Because if they were, if they are stuck on the day, then we could just move the stuff and they could fly away. Right. But what I'm saying is right. is is no. So it's not like this so fell the, and killed someone. It's more like the spirit is here. So the ghost didn't die here. The, the ghost came here and broke it. I know that's one of the things they do is they break shit. So they're not under there right now. They're, they're gonna not. They're going to come there. Okay. They're not under there. So what we're going to do is we're going to play some music for them in a way that is, is helpful towards their, their ultimate goal of, of going beyond this world. Huh. So what does that do? Does that make them? Does that make them try to like? Do they follow the horn, or does that push them with the air? Can you get them to open that door and come out in a line? No. Because I was thinking a ghost would come out, and no, we're not. And then we wiggle this. We're not here to get. Them and we'd see like a face. To, to wiggle, music is going to show them and soothe their current situation so uh -huh. that they can move on. Can they just do it by coming out this way, just walk around you and move on? It's just like you're some guy playing a trumpet next to wood. What does it even mean to them? It's, to like... it's, it's, it's... The strongest presence I have ever felt uh, is... Right here. A young woman who tragically lost her life when she fell from the cliff. Oh. Right from up there? That's right. Oof. Very sad. Yeah. I mean, if it was an accident. Well, it's uh, it's very unstable up at, at, at the edge. So no, you see, that, that, that's what the murderer would want you to think. If, if there is a murderer. There were witnesses just, to her falling. Well, no, he pays him to say that she just fell. 
I'm just thinking out loud. Right. Her presence, she, she's still here. Uh, how do you know she's still here? There, 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 there's a, a deep sense of sadness, of incompleteness. Uh huh. It isn't just me. Her, her parents, her friends have joined me here. They could feel her with us right where you're standing. Well, does she ever just wander down the beach? Like if she sees a, a dog doing something funny? Uh, maybe. I mean, she, she could, I suppose. And then she could just keep wandering, like all the way downtown to s sneak into a movie theater. That's what I'd do. The, the spirit will want to remain at the place of death because they want to undo the, the terrible thing that's happened to them. And they want to live again. We all would, I think. So it's our job to let them know that they have nothing to fear. That we love them and they're going to be happy in the place that they're going. Just, I want to make sure that, are we at the right place exactly? Because, like, where's all the police tape? Usually they don't let you s come right to where someone died. No, no this wasn't recent. This was some time ago. Like what? Like two weeks? Three weeks? No, it was like... Four years? I mean, I know she's probably not all that bright falling from up there, but she's got to figure it out. I don't have the Ghostbuster equipment yet, right? I know that, but if I did, what would I even be pointing it at? You know, I just start zapping the racks. Okay, this is no good. Just tell me, what was her name? Um, what was her name that fell? Kimberly. Okay, Kimberly. Hello. Knock this guy's cap off. No, no, that's not how we. If you're not knocking the cap off. That means you were murdered? Is that what you're telling us? No. You were murdered? No, they communicate only Hold on, Kim Kimberly, knock it. Okay, knock the cap off once for you were murdered. Twice that you just fell regular. So now that was two places we've been and no ghost. So I reminded him, you do understand I am going to have to put this on the internet. You understand that, right? You can't just not internet something after you film it. What was the point? You gotta put it on there. So unless we get a ghost, you will be trumpet moron guy forever. Because that's the internet lasts forever. Everything you do on there is there until the sun turns off. So you gotta get us a ghost like yesterday, pal, or you will be the latest internet joke forever. Now. Imagine you're a ghost. You just imagine you had died and you found yourself stuck in some place as a ghost. That's all you are now. And so you haunt a place. Let's say this park or even just this bench. You know, maybe that's where you died. And this guy shows up and he starts doing them fruity reaching out movements. Even if you were a ghost, you'd, you'd be giving him that look like, can I help you? But, you know, just because I'm a ghost, that doesn't mean you got any better. Just, you, I mean, look at you. What does me being a ghost have to do with you choosing that hat? People gonna think I'm part of this? This is you. I'm just a go innocent ghost. Get this guy out of here. I spent my life trying to avoid people like this, and now I'm stuck with him just because I died? It was making me depressed, you know, thinking on their behalf what this was must be like uh, poor ghosts so you know what it was it was time to bring this guy on the show and figure this out so I don't think you're a dumb guy but I started this Ghostbuster show and you're the first guy that I got for it. 
And now we're both stuck. Because you're having a hard time trying to get me some tangible ghost action. And now I'm starting to think it's all bullcrap. So what do we do? Uh, well, I guess, I guess what we, we, because you see how on another way of looking at it, I maybe got lucky because I found a guy with the choo-choo hat, he's got a trumpet, he's playing for ghosts. The internet would love that. You see that, right? They love people who are hopeless at the things they do. So, let me ask you, laser ghost, in that they're coming out at you all the time, what do we gotta do to get them to do that to us? Do we gotta piss them off? Because that's initially what I was thinking we'd have to do. Well, again, um, Laser Ghost is is a video game, so it's not an accurate. Because here's the other question: Are ghosts even real? Because after what we've been doing, I'd say seventy percent. They're not, probably. Well, they're they're real. So if there are no ghosts, that's inconvenient for me. Right, trying to do this show, but for you, that's like getting urinated on by a transformer. It's so big. Uh, did you see the one with the one pissed on the guy? I know uh, it's not like sex piss. It's like humiliating for him. You will be that ridiculous ghost trumpet guy forever. Um, uh, not forever, that's... Until you die. So why don't we give it one more chance? We really go for getting a ghost on camera. And that way you don't have a lifelong embarrassment from what I've filmed so far. And I get a ghost show. For his last shot at this, he wants to do a seance, and I say, okay, that's fine, but it's got to be my place, so no, so I know there's no tricks, right? And, but my apartment smells weird to new people, so he stayed pretty close to the door, and then he took out some candles, okay? Then I swear to God, he starts taking off his shirt. I have got a very strict rule about guys taking off any article of clothing in front of me whatsoever, but I can't even film this. Then the next thing he gets out is one of these, one of those from the toy store. So I said to him, okay, just so we're clear, that is the thing you use to become a woman is when you lose your penis and you need to ask a ghost where it is you, but what, you know, it's your thing, whatever you, you want to do. Spirits, you're here with us in this living room. We welcome you to our presence. And I'm looking for him, There's you know. There's nothing to fear. And I want to say, hey, his shirt's back on. Please. You could come out. And I can only do one hand on the thing because I'm doing camera. And but right away, I, I feel it. He's totally shoving this thing around. What do I do? Just film it and get something for my ghost show? You know, give this guy a break? Like we're always doing with these ghost people? No. Boop. <laughs> I was laughing so hard because now I even got this on camera, right? And so, and, and I started daring the ghost. Hey, come touch this and all my d I don't care. Come on. Three spins for a quarter. See, I'd been drinking a lot before the guy showed up, I have to admit. But then I, I got an idea. I said, hey, drive me to the cemetery. Quickly, just do it. Yeah, baby. We're taking this right to ghost headquarters. But I forgot it'd be closed by now. So I said, Bevmo, T Bevmo, you know what that is? Take me to the... Now I'm good. Now take me anywhere freaky and ghosty you got. So he takes me to this weird spirit circle thing underground. And I started flying the triangle around like I'm doing the trench run in Star Wars and pissing off this one person here. 
here and there because I was doing the sound effects and then I was trying to get her to swat at it like she was the monster in episode whatever and this was starting to upset her so I explained to her no 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 don't worry I'm not a homeless I'm what I am is I'm doing a ghost show but I'm making it more like Star Wars now then she was calling the cops so I said hey, you know what fine this is why I don't have a girlfriend because you all can't even correctly interpret what I do you're all off on your computer world with phones and I'm over here being normal classic human and so I flew the spaceship somewhere else to a uh, place I could lay down and barf at that point mm. but next day when I was doing another hangover I was losing my enthusiasm for this because you know when we talk to tombstones we know there's no one listening. If five or six drinks can do this to your brain, what's death going to do to it? Death is way worse. A meteor hits your brain right now, splatters it. Your memories aren't going to pop out all perfect like on a computer disc. How can they do that? They can't do that. You know, even Dracula, you know, you, you shoot out, he comes at you, you shoot off his head. Uh, you know, I wish I'd run into the Dracula pinball machine. Could have been hunting vampires, damn it. That would have been more interesting, I think. I, you know, I, I wonder what the world would have been like if people had never believed in any of the bullcrap things like ghosts and demons and angels. Probably would have been way better, you know. But I think it, it's just, it's a rule. You, you, you get a planet and it gets idiots on it and then the idiots run the planet because they got all that idiot energy that we hungover people do not have. But the reason we drink is because of them, mostly.